family. So, as you guys know, I'm about to go on a little adventure. Right here, it's a sewer rental car. They're hooking me up right now with my vehicle for the week. I'm running around town. We're just getting started. Right here, the owner, uh, Orlando. It's a sewer rental car. We come down here. It's right over here, across from the Playero. At the entrance, that we're going over to uh, Western Union and the Flip Flop. All right, so it's a sewer rental car. You guys see the number right there. He has some great cars. As I say, he's also the owner of Flo. Orlando, say hello. Hey, hello. That's the owner right there. So I'm getting my car for sewer rental car. About to go on this journey. Also, I want to tell you guys, man, I mean, you know what, real talk? This video is about tips, pre-trip planning, because I had to pre-plan my, pre my trip for this uh, adventure I'm about to take. And just some things I put together for, you know, uh, what I think we should need and what we think we should go through as far as getting everything set for your trip. Now, I do want to do two things before I go on this trip. I want to say straight up and down, I've been seeing these videos about people dying in DR and they're killing black people. Listen, here's my challenge to all these YouTubers, all these media people. Book a flight to Dominican Republic. Come on down and I'll show you how safe it is. That's my challenge. All you people that are sitting there at home talking about Dominican Republic is, is dangerous. They're killing black people and all that. That's not the case. So book you a flight and I personally will show you around they're not killing people down there. All right. So that's my whip right there. Nice 2018. I'm about to hit the road and I got one more thing to show you before the video starts. All right. I hope y'all enjoy. So I said I had to show you guys one more thing before this video gets started. The company's done. The SRL is complete. I'll be doing the third installation of the business videos when I get back from my trip. But the company is complete, as you guys see there. Got the book. I'm constituted. Got the stamp. Everything's done. So I'll go over that on the next video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tips on pre-trip planning. All right? You guys enjoyed it. So friends and family, once again, as we said, this video is going to be the pre-trip planning process. As you guys know, I'm going on a trip myself. By the time you see this video, I should be rolling on out. So I had to put a little checklist together to make sure I had everything I needed. And I figured, you know what? Before I used to travel all the time, when I used to come down here to other countries, I had to make a little checklist to make sure I had everything. Um, so this is just a little refresher list for you guys. Maybe you might forget something. Just give you a little checklist, a reminder of things you might want to consider when you're um, about to travel. So you booked your flight. Um, first thing we have to do, and it may sound like common sense, but believe me, I've seen it happen many times, make sure we got our passport. Okay? Sometimes you get, we get excited, sometimes we plan, and we're, we're happy, and we're moving, and I've seen guys go to the airport and forget their passport. You're not getting on a plane without the passport. So, number one, make sure we got the passport. That's number one on the checklist. As you guys be watching this, as I said, I'm on a trip, I'll be out of town, so... You have to do a list to make sure you have everything prepared and just everything ready so that you have less stress and less worries while you're on your trip. Uh, budget. I believe budget is a big thing. Um, budget yourself each day, uh, whether it be for drinks, food, partying. You know, if you stay at an all-inclusive, um, you may have drinks and food paid for. Uh, if you want to go out to the club, figure to spend a couple of dollars. I say for the normal traveler... In Dominican Republic, and I'm not talking about Sasu, I'm just talking about a, a normal traveler. I say you should want to have a few hundred dollars a day minimum. And that's not including your room. I always say, and I've said it a million times, where you stay, your hotel, your Airbnb, whatever it is, that's spent money. So we don't count that money into our daily budget. Because that money is already spent because you need a place to stay. So I say when it comes to partying, drinking, um, extracurricular activities, stuff like that, you want to have a few hundred. I, I, I usually say 500 to 800 a, a day. It's pretty decent. That's if you party a lot, drink a lot. Um, some guys can do less than that. You know, me, I do less than that. Um, but when I was traveling, I would always say about three to 500 a day just because I like to drink. Most of my budget would be going towards drinking. Okay, so you want to make sure on that stuff. Also, your Airbnb or your hotel, this is a big thing because I see a lot of people run into this lately. Make sure wherever you're staying is guest friendly. And I say that because sometimes you may hang out and you may meet a friend and, you know, you don't know that you can't have guests. So make sure that you check that your hotel or your Airbnb. Most resorts do not allow guests unless you pay the full fee for the guests. So you end up paying what you pay to bring a guest back. So, you know, if you plan on having some company or, you know, you may meet some friends and you want to guys want to hang out and drink, um, just check beforehand that your Airbnb or your hotel or your resort 
is guest friendly. You always want to be sure of that. Um, I, I see sometimes guys book one or two locations because, you know, then they're not sure. But it's always good to check. Send an email. When you get the confirmation or before you book the location, just check. Say, hey, is this place guest friendly? Just to be sure. Better safe than sorry. Also, with the budget, I always say that you should have emergency funds. Now, many years ago, I forgot what hurricane it was, but there were guys stuck down here for like 7 to 11 days. And, you know, they budgeted their money for their trip, but had no extra money to get them by the days they were stranded. There were no planes leaving or coming. Everybody was stranded. I had two friends that were stranded out here 11 days. They were good because they had emergency money. Always have emergency funds available, whether on you, in your bank, or someone drop some money off to someone at the Western Union some money in a what-if scenario. You never want to be without funds, okay? Um, also, clothes. Now, I will say this. For this island, this is an island. You want to wear shorts. You want to wear um, flip-flops. <laughs> is that a shameless plug? I don't know. Um, you want to have, you know, your, 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 your wife beaters on, your sleeveless shirts on. You know, you want to have comfortable, comfortable clothes because it's really hot down here. But I will say this, for the nightlife, most places will not allow you in with shorts or sleeveless shirts. Just an FYI, fellas. Uh, most places will not allow you in with shorts or sleeveless shirts. So pack an extra pair of jeans, a nice shirt or whatever, you know, nothing too fancy. But if you happen to go to a nice club, you want to play the part. Because, like I said, I have actually been turned down in Santo Domingo. I went to a club looking like a million bucks, but I had shorts on. And they was not trying to hear anything not taking no money under the table, nothing. You couldn't, you couldn't get in, so it really didn't matter. Okay, so pack, pack accordingly, but also keep, keep, a, keep a couple of extra outfits to the side uh, in case you want to hit the town or whatever, okay? And also comfortable wear, sneakers, stuff like that, flip, flops, okay? Um, now, for me, one thing I always make sure of is my meds. Uh, that goes along with my toiletries, but when I say my meds, I carry Tylenol, Ibuprofen, Imodium, just in case, uh, a, a bad stomach can destroy your trip, along with Pepto Bismol. So I said, tell people sometimes to carry those, just you know, just in case. There's pharmacies everywhere around here, but you just want to be safe than sorry, as I always say. Also, a copy of your passport. I don't believe in carrying my passport around. Some people carry their ID. I carry an old license and a copy of my passport, just to have ID on you. You never know when you're gonna, you know, be around and say, hey, you, you know, you need ID. You know, just in case. Uh, I always feel a safe. Like I said, for me, all of this is more safe than sorry. You know, rather have it on you or rather take care of it now than worry about it later. Uh, you may want to call your bank. Let them know that you're traveling. One thing that happens a lot is guys go to the ATM and use their card and their bank locks the card up. It's happened to me many times. Um, let your bank know, hey, I'm going to be visiting another country. I'll be out these days. I need access to my bank account. This way, when your bank sees activity outside of the country, they know that, hey, he's on vacation. No problem. They send you a couple emails. Say, hey, is this you? You respond, yes, and it's okay. So always let your bank know. Also, you may want to let your phone company know. Now, I do know there are a lot of phone companies that offer international services, uh, minutes, um, internet, all that internationally. So maybe let them know. I think some companies charge like 10 bucks, 15 bucks for that service to go international. Or, as you guys know, if you have an unlocked phone or you want to, or you have another, uh, want to get another phone, you can go to uh, Altice or Orange in Dominican Republic. I'm sure other countries have it, the option as well. And get you a chip. 100 pesos with your passport. You'll have a local number and be able to use the local internet and Wi-Fi and, and such. So let your phone company know. But if not, you can always get a chip from down here. Uh, one thing I will say that I'm forgetting, I'm sorry, toiletries. As I said with the meds, toiletries, your toothpaste, your toothbrush, your deodorant. Now, they sell our products here, but I like to have my products. You know, I know you guys like certain things. Um, you want to have your deodorant, your brand of toothpaste, just in case. You know, that's one thing I always find, um, find comfortable to have my stuff that I like. You know, uh, as I'm going shopping for this trip so far, I had to go to certain stores that had my particular deodorant that I like, my particular toothpaste that I like. So, you know. Sometimes you want to bring that stuff from the States instead of searching around for it just because you're comfortable with what you like. Um, also, towels. I tell people, you might want to bring your own towels. I don't mind using the, the, the hotel towels or wherever I'm going. But some, some people are comfortable bringing their own towels and they have an extra towel when you go out and about. 
you know, so have your, have your stuff like that, you know, toiletries, deodorant, meds, you know, I think these things make your trip a little bit better and leave less worry in case you're not feeling too great or, or, you know, you need something extra that you're used to back home, but you may not have here. Also, I would say plan excursions, plan, a, you know, schedule something, an activity, uh, an excursion, a tour, just to break the monotony of your trip in between, you know, you would see in the beach every day or you go into the uh, club every day, but schedule an activity to just do something different. Okay, I would say the number two rule or the number two thing on the checklist, but I left it for the end, is to remember that you're on vacation. That's number one. Have fun. Remember you're on vacation. Don't stress too much. If there's anything I left off this checklist, feel free to hit in the comments and add what you think should be on the checklist. Um, someone had mentioned condoms. I guess if you're going to be out partying, you want to have condoms. You can get condoms in this country, but also I would say that goes along with toiletries where you want to have your particular brand that you use. You know, like I said, that's me. I like having my particular brand of products for me. So as I said, guys, this is the checklist for you guys. I thought about this because I'm taking my trip and I'm going to keep you guys updated with everything. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the videos. Uh, Mr. Flip Flop, I do, this, I do this for you guys and I appreciate all the love and support. I'll keep you posted on my adventure.